Okay, so this video is about the bisection method, another one, and this time we're going to look at uh, <clears throat> the error bound uh, on the bisection method. Now, if we assume here that uh, F belongs to CAB, which is a continuous on the interval AB where we are searching for the root, then if you remember this, this is a condition where we see the sign change on the interval AB for the function F. The bisection method will will give us a sequence of approximations to the root of fx equals 0, which we identify as this pn, n equals 1 to infinity. So each one, p1, p2, p3, is an approximation to the root, and it's that midpoint that we keep uh, creating uh, to shorten or, or uh, to reduce the uh, interval where the root actually is changing sign, uh, or, or root occurs. The error then, en, which is called, this is the error en, is the absolute value of pn minus p. Now, please be careful here. This is not something that can be filled because we don't know what p is. In certain situations, we, we may know when we're testing the method. But practically, pn is the approximation, the nth approximation of the root, and p is supposedly the actual root. So this is a um, symbolic representation, uh, which means the error would be pn, the approximation, minus the actual. So the absolute value of that is less than or equal to the interval b minus a divided by 2 to the power n. So uh, this is essentially the error bound. Let's see how we can utilize this idea. So here's an example of where one can use this uh, error bound. Um, first of all, of course, the error bound is a very important idea. It tells us that the error is bounded above, which means it won't go or grow to infinity. Uh, the second um, an actual practical usage of the error bound is, for instance, if we want to solve this as an example, one of the relevant questions one could ask is, um, so you want to solve this problem, um, how many iterations would it take to achieve an accuracy of, for instance, 10 to the minus 3, for the sake of argument, uh, on this interval? Um, what is very interesting, what you should note here, is that if you look at this, the error is not dependent at all on the function f of x. It is, and it shouldn't be. It should be a method that is independent of the actual function that you're trying to solve. So this means that you want the accuracy 10 to the minus 3. So you would want that your practically, this should be less than uh, 10 to the minus 3. And then you're happy. I mean, like your tolerance, uh, for instance. So this implies when we, we can easily solve this, um, in this case, b minus a is just 1, so we end up with 2 to the minus n is less than 10 to the minus 3. We take the uh, log of both sides, we get minus n ln 2 less than minus 3 ln 10, and then uh, multiply both sides by negative sign, and of course uh, n then becomes greater than 3 ln 10 divided by ln 2 which is equal to approximately 9.96. This means that n 10 iterations, 10 iterations uh, should uh, uh, give us the accuracy, should achieve the desired accuracy. So this is a very um, easy way to figure out uh, how many amount how many iterations you should expect in your um, in the bisection method for a particular uh, level of accuracy we'll stop here